So today I'm going to be replacing the brake rotors and the brake pads. The reason I'm replacing the brake pads is because they're squeaking and we just got this vehicle and it's been sitting for a year. So it's only wise to change out the brake rotors while I'm in here. So first thing you need to do is grab a 19 millimeter socket and take these wheels off. Next thing you want to do is get you a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket and take off these two uh, caliper retainer bolts. One right here, and you got one right there. And you're just gonna ratchet that off. It can be a little difficult getting to this bottom bolt right here because the shock tube is in the way. So to conquer that, I have a ratchet that bends in the different shapes, if you will. So next thing you're gonna wanna do, since it has this retaining tab right here, this retaining tab or this metal spring right here you're going to want to pop that from contact with this bracket so pop that loose it's going to be a little tricky next since this bolt right here there's a clearance issue the shock tube is in the way you're going to want to tilt this that way stop all right so i got this metal retaining tab loose i got that situated where it's out the way i got this bottom nut off so now since this is so rusted on here and caked up chock full of shit i'm gonna have to bang this collar for loose because it's not coming without a fight so get you a three pound sledge or your weapon of choice and just go to town all right so after banging for about 20 seconds it's finally starting to come loose you just want to shock it because when vehicles sit sometimes the caliper can actually freeze itself to the brake pad so that will make removal of the caliper difficult so you just want to shock it out of place and we have successfully freed our caliper all right, since these brake pads have tabs on the inside and the outside, which you see here, you're going to have to uh, use some effort to break them loose. For instance, the brake pad closest to the caliper piston, you want to pull that up away from the piston. And the brake pad on the outer wall, you just want to push down on, which is bloody difficult because it's rusted to hell okay, that's one and that's two and then you just pull that out like that so what I'm going to do is since I'm old fashioned in order to collapse this piston I'm going to use this brake pad. Set it up like such. Just take a large C-clamp. Once you get it situated, just start compressing it. Just so y'all know, I'm struggling getting this caliper. I mean, this piston collapsed. It's definitely due for a new Get caliper. that done with your caliper. And you're in this situation like I am, where the rotor is completely frozen to the down axle, 
you're going to want to do is, it's a tip I learned. Take a lug nut, we'll take two of them, thread them about halfway on there. One on either side. Then you want to take your hammer and hit right here, since you're replacing it, you want to hit right here where your caliper used to be. If you hit it over here, this is where your splash shield is and it's not going to have the same effect. You want to hit it right here. And these, uh, these lug nuts are going to catch it so it doesn't fly off and smack you in the face. So a couple good wax, three pound sledge, should be good to go. And that's all. Now once you get the rotor off, just spray the hub down like that and wipe it. That way, so when you go to put it back on, you can throw some anti-seize compound on here so that that doesn't happen to you again. You won't have to fight the rotor for it to come off. Just be playing a little anti-seize. Now when you get your new rotor, you want to make sure you clean it. Especially if they nailed it to you because when they nail it, they put a grease on here so it won't rust between the time they nail it out to you and the time it gets to you. So you always want to clean the new rotor before you put it on. And when you finish doing that, it goes back on here. And so you can see I got the anti-seize right here on the lip of the hub. And to get your brake pads back in, it's the reverse of how you took them off. So that's not worth mentioning again, but pretty much that's how you do that. When you finish putting your caliper back on, you take these, these uh, bolts that you got out of the uh, caliper, you grease them up, put them back in here, and you're done. So I'm going to get back to it, and that's all, folks.